We're afraid, we're all afraid. But that's what courage is when you do something and you're afraid, right? Yeah. Right? Personally, I'm a dreamer. I've been here since I was one and a half. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Mexican, but I do consider myself American. Um, this, is, this is everything I've, I've known ever. So it's, uh, it's a very, I'm shaking right now. It's a very emotional day. We're gonna be our own heroes. In 2012, when Obama announced deferred action for childhood arrivals, it's because we gave him the power, we gave him the knowledge, and we gave him the courage to speak up for us. We are all trying to get an education. We're not here for anything else. Our families brought us here because we wanted to have a better future. Our families brought us here because we wanted to have an education, to have a life outside of like living on a day. My name is Nancy Palacios and we come from East High School. Well, I think when communities feel like they are under attack, we have a resilient and strong community here in Colorado. And for so many students who are fearful now, since the president has um, made this decision to rescind DACA, um, there is strength and there is unity in people coming together to bring forward a voice to say, Congress, we need you to act immediately um, to pass immigration reform and to make sure that the Dreamers are protected. My name is Pepe Chilango. My name is Stephanie. My name is Gabby. It's right, Prep, que viva la raza! Anger, a lot of anger, and just frustration that no matter how hard we work, there's always going to be another barrier, and there's not one person who doesn't believe that we are capable of beating that barrier, and he's still putting more and putting more, and we're still going to keep pushing. This day is very important for all of us because it, it's, um, we're, we're standing up, we're standing up for what's right for our parents, for our communities, for our, ch for our, um, our children in some cases, for our, um, our siblings, everything, we're, we're standing up. <laughs> yeah, I hope that families can stay together. I hope that families are able to better their lives, which they didn't have in Mexico, in El Salvador, and wherever in Latin America, or wherever outside of Latin America. There's so many immigrants that aren't just Hispanics, but in our state, there's a lot of Hispanics who have struggled. Um, and I want them to just have a little break, some relief that they're able to stay in this country and they're able to have an education in this country. What we've seen out of Congress so far is a lot of division and a lot of gridlock. And I think they have an opportunity to bring people together to not only protect the dreamers, but to see comprehensive immigration reform. I think for anybody who believes in family values, they should look at immigration policy in this country um, because families are ripped apart and, and we need to make sure that um, kids who have been here for years and years um, have the opportunity to be able to get an education and be able to get a job and, and continue tribute to American society. We gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. No papers? No papers? No DACA? Life is just so much more than just putting a barrier on every person who you dislike. We just gotta power through it because we were molded in struggle and this doesn't this doesn't change anything. We're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep fighting.